I live in the United States, which has the death penalty. I can tell you, it is a sobering to walk around in a country where the death penalty exists. The death penalty is a, an act of total savagery, whether it's firing squad, gas, uh, beheading, hanging. Uh, it's, and Human Rights Watch stands utter, utterly opposed to it. But not only is it savage, it's also ineffective as a deterrent. Uh, we have the issue of judicial fallibility combined with the irreversibility of the death sentence, which creates a huge problem and innocents uh, are likely to die in any country where there is the death penalty, however careful you are, and it has happened in the past. To answer your uh, question, Karmini, it's in the hands of the, uh, of, of the Indonesian government at the moment, uh, this particular case. But I think what the Australian government can do and what uh, nations around the world that oppose the death penalty rightly should do is to get together and campaign more strongly against the death penalty with uh, those countries that still have it, including the United States of America, and certainly uh, Australia could be part of that. Tom, does Human Rights Watch have a, an opinion on, or a position, if you may put it that way, on the Indonesian justice system and its worth or fallibility? Uh, well, I think we've done some work on the uh, on the Indonesian justice system, and you know we've we, we've criticised it in the past. Uh, I think it's worth uh, noting that uh, just a, a few weeks ago, in fact, this year and the, the second for the second time, a few weeks ago, an, an Indonesian maid in Saudi Arabia was beheaded, and the Indonesian government uh, made a bit of a stink about that mm. to the Saudis. Um, but obviously, they were not on very good ground to do that because they themselves maintain the right to judicially kill uh, people under their jurisdiction.